Today I'm going to be showing you how to set a new output for a scan to folder shortcut on Capture on Touch, which is Canon's scanning software, which works with the DR series scanners. So basically, to select an output and to create a new output, we just go Create New Output with that button, and then you hit the little pencil button here. You can set a default file name, such as Scan, and we can also set to add the date and time or to add a counter, whichever one you want to do or both. And it gives you an example of the file name there. So you can see we've got the scan, the date and time. If you wanted to change the date format, like say you're not in America and you wanted to be in Australia and wanted to change it to DDMMYYY, you can. And you can select this to what number to start the counter at. So, you know, if you wanted to start at 90, it would then start at 90. So now we've got the file name saved. You can see in this drop down we've selected save to folder. Depending which add-ons you've got, you could have a multiple different ones there that are available. We're going to use save to folder here. In the save to folder icon there, you can go browse and select your folder that you want it to go to. So I'm just going to put it down into my uh, documents folder and we'll say new scan. So now you can see I've got that folder set there. Um, you can set it to compress the file as well. So in here we can select it to make it a PDFA or we can select our compression mode. So let's say we wanted high compression. We can also do extra things here for the compression rate. So if we wanted to really compress a file, we'd put it at five. That can cause the scan to be slightly uh, less in quality, the PDF file. And if you want it to OCR and what language you want it to OCR in. So what OCR means is optical character recognition and that basically converts the text that's on the page into highlightable text in your PDF so you can make it full text searchable. Name our scan. So If you wanted to change the icon, you can click change icon, allocate a custom icon to it. And now we've got it there. So then when you wanted to do the scan, you select there, select your document type, your scan profile, select your output and press scan.